The AH-64E attack helicopter is the latest version of the AH-64E used by the U.S. Army. It is also known as Apache Guardian. One of the most advanced attack helicopters, Apache AH-64E is under test flights with the British Army as reported. The British Army has ordered 50 of its type, of which 14 have been received and rest are due process till 2024 summer. Apache AH-64E has most striking features and is the most desirable attack helicopter which is being nominated as faster, deadlier, and more coherent with modern battlefields. The Apache AH-64E is marketed by Boring as the world's most advanced proven attack helicopter for the U.S. Army and a growing number of international defense forces. As we have witnessed various generations of Apache, one thing that is consistent in all the models is the reputation as being the world's most sophisticated attack helicopter. More than 1,200 aircraft in operation accumulating over 4 million flight hours, 1.3 million of which have been in combat, the AH-64 Apache represents the backbone of the U.S. Army attack helicopter fleet and a growing number of international defense forces. The Apache AH-64E is considered the most desirable attack helicopter with the most practicality and functionality that it offers to its users. So, what are these aspects that make Apache AH-64E a unique piece of art? How beneficial, crucial is it to have Apache AH-64E by your side in adversity? You will get to all of this and many more about the Apache AH-64E attack helicopter in this video. So, stay tuned with us till the end of this video. However, before that, here's a quick reminder that you can subscribe for free and like the video so that we can boost the algorithm. Comments are most welcomed. Development Formerly known as AH-64D Block 3 in 2012, it was redesignated as AH-64E Guardian to represent its increased capabilities. It all started with Apache AH-61A in 1981. Three pre-production AH-64As were handed over to the U.S. Army for operational test two. The Army testing was successful, but afterwards it was decided to upgrade to the more powerful T-700 GE-701 version of the engine. The AH-64 was named the Apache in late 1981 following the tradition of naming Army helicopters after Native American tribes. It was approved for full-scale production in 1982. In 1983, the first production helicopter was rolled out at Hughes Helicopters facility at Mesa, Arizona. Until 2012, it was designated as AH-64D Block 3. It has a number of improvements and upgrades, including more powerful engines, upgraded transmission, and other improvements. This gunship might also be fitted with updated longbow fire control radar. The U.S. Army plans to upgrade a total of 634 AH-64D helicopters to AH-64E standard. It is planned that another 56 helicopters will be newly built. Deliveries to the U.S. Army began in 2011. This attack helicopter has been approved for export. Export operators are India, Saudi Arabia, and Taiwan. India ordered 22 of these gunships. Deliveries commenced in 2019. Also, this helicopter has been ordered by other countries. Indonesia ordered 8 of these gunships, Qatar 24, South Korea 36, and the United Arab Emirates 30. In 2014, Iraq ordered 24 of these helicopters, but later canceled this order. In 2015, the United Kingdom requested to manufacture 50 of its WAH-64D Apache Longbow helicopters, of this latest AH-64E standard. Design and Structure The AH-64 Apache has a four-blade main rotor and a four-blade tail rotor. The crew sits in tandem, with the pilot sitting behind and above the co-pilot gunner. Both crew members are capable of flying the aircraft and performing methods of weapon engagements independently. Various models of engines have been used on the Apache. Those in the British service use engines from Rolls-Royce. The crew compartment has shielding between the cockpits, such that at least one crew member can survive hits. The compartment of the rotor blades are designed to sustain a hit from 23 mm rounds. The airframe includes some 2,500 pounds or 1,100 kilograms of protection and has a self-sealing fuel system to protect against ballistic projectiles. The aircraft was designed to meet the crashworthiness requirements of MIL STD-1290, which specifies minimum requirement for crash impact energy attenuation to minimize crew injuries and fatalities. Engines. This helicopter is fitted with more powerful General Electric T700GE701D engines 
developing 1,994 horsepower instead of the 1,800 horsepower on the previous versions. Also, it has upgraded transmission to coupe with extra power. The AH64E has new composite rotor blades. These are designed to withstand hits from 23mm anti-aircraft guns. Maximum speed of this helicopter is up to 300 km an hour. The power it has to operate along with the weaponry system and defense system, it is the best ever choice to put your enemy to end. Weapons The AH-64E comes with a 30mm M230 cannon with 1200 rounds of ammunition. It has four hard points on stub wings and can carry various missiles. Armament is being tailored depending on mission requirements. The AH-64E can carry up to 16 AGM-114R Hellfire, two anti-tank guided missiles. For self-defense against hostile helicopters, the Apache Guardian can carry up to two AIM-9 Sidewinder, four AIM-92 Stinger, or four Mistral air-to-air -air missiles. It can also carry two AGM-122 Sidearm air-to-ground anti-radiation missiles that can target hostile radars. The gunship is often equipped with 19 shot pods with Hydra 70 unguided rockets. The helicopter can carry up to four of these pods. This attack helicopter might be fitted with the Longbow Fire Control Radar, which is also used on the previous AH-64D variant. It gives the capability to fire AGM-114R Hellfire to anti-tank guided missiles in fire and forget mode. Without this radar and the Hellfire 2 missiles are launched in the line of sight manner. The radar can detect, classify, and prioritize 12 targets simultaneously and can see through the fog a smoke that foils infrared or TV sensors. Functionality Role The Apache AH-64E is considered to be the most reliable and advanced multifunctional attack helicopters for the users. To date, more than 500 AH-64E model Apache have been delivered worldwide. The AH-64E features advanced digital connectivity, joint tactical information distribution system, more powerful T-700 GE-701D engines with upgraded face gear transmission to accommodate more power, capability to control unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, new composite main rotor blade. The AH-64E is designed with open systems architecture to support long-term plans to position the platform as a key component of the multi-domain operations MDO battlefield. The attack helicopter features the latest navigation, communications, sensor and weapon systems. Its improved modernized target acquisition designation system provides all-weather target information during day and night. The onboard equipment also provides night vision navigation capability. The upgraded fire control radar also enables the maritime targeting mode for the AH-64E. Boeing delivered the first AH-64E version 6, V6, the most modern configuration of the Apache, to the U.S. Army's 1-229th Attack Reconnaissance Battalion, at Joint Base Lewis McCord JBLM in Washington in January 2021. The V6 is a network centric, fully integrated weapon system designed for the MDO battlefield. It will provide the capability to gain advantage in highly contested and complex battle environments. The helicopter will combine onboard and offboard sensors, connectivity, and standoff long range weapons to ensure current and future joint mission success. The V6 incorporates Link 16 communications to be able to switch network connections on demand and merge different networks to obtain an operational picture for real-time situational awareness. It also supports the real-time streaming of unmanned aerial systems, UAS, video in the cockpit, and provides crew members the capability to direct the flight path of the UAS. The software also enables the transmission of information to ground-based systems. Sensors and Features This Apache AH-64E comes with new sensors, avionics, and has improved night operation capabilities. Furthermore, the AH-64E helicopter can control a couple of UAVs. This attack helicopter is operated by a crew of two, including pilot and gunner. There are numerous features to protect the crew and increase survivability of the helicopter. The airframe is designed to withstand hits from guns of up to 12.7mm caliber. The AH-64E has an infrared suppressing exhaust system and is equipped with chaff and flare dispensers. Both of these features combined reduce the chance of being hit by enemy air defense missiles. Both crew members use various sophisticated sensors and systems for the detection and attack of targets. Their helmets have an integrated helmet sighting system. The Boeing AH-64 Apache can climb at a rate of 889 meters per minute. The maximum and cruise speeds of the helicopter are 279 kilometers an hour and 260 kilometers an hour, respectively. 
The ferry range and service ceiling of the helicopter are 1,900 kilometers and 6,400 meters, respectively. The endurance is 3 hours and 9 minutes. The helicopter weighs around 5,165 kilograms, while its maximum takeoff weight is 10,433 kilograms. With the AH-64E in production until at least 2028, the Apache will serve the U.S. Army and its partner nations as the world's primary attack helicopter into the 2060s. As Boeing and the U.S. Army continue to invest in next-generation technologies, the Apache brings affordable modular open systems architecture capability to serve as the centerpiece in the multi-domain operations MDO battlefield for decades to come. There's a lot more to talk about this futuristic battlefield protagonist, the value, the level of security, and the horrifying impact that it has on the counter side. It is the best choice as of now. What do you think of the Comanche and the decision of the U.S. Army to shut it down even before its development? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up. It will help us to understand our audience and allow YouTube to suggest similar videos to you. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you at the next one.